In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to zoom in and zoom out as well as how to magnify your screen recordings using CapCut PC. And make sure you stick to the end for one bonus tip about the magnify effect. Let's get started. So you already have your screen recording on your timeline. Go to where you want the zoom in effect to start from. Click on the screen recordings. Go to your right side of the software. Make a keyframe on scale and position. Now go 10 frames forward. Make another keyframe on position and scale. And this time around, increase the size of it under scale. So with this, I'll go somewhere 160%. Then use the on-screen controls drag it to where you want the zoom in effect to show and now i'll play and show you guys what we have so far so with this it comes in nice and clean and you zoom in to where i have the subscribe now we are done with the zoom in we need to do the zoom out go to where you want the zoom out to start from click on the screen recording then go back to your right side of the software make a keyframe on skill and also position then go 10 frames forward and make another keyframe on skill and position and this time around change the figures on skill to 100 percent then then on Y axis change it to zero and on X axis change it to zero. So with this, we are just changing it back to the normal size. So I'll play and show you guys what we have so far. It comes in nice and clean. We zoom into where I have the subscribe. You just hit on the all and then it zooms back to the normal size. And now how to magnify your screen recordings. Click on the screen recording, command C or control C if you're using a PC, then command V or control V to paste it on top of the previous screen recording. Click on the down screen recording press V to disable it then click on the top one go to mask select rectangle with the mask selected we just want to magnify the small part of the screen recording make it as small as possible now select the down screen recording press V to enable it so we we'll see exactly what we're working with then go to where you want the magnify effects to start from click on the top screen recording that's the one we'll be working with and go to basic then make keyframe on skill and position now go 10 frames forward make another keyframe on position and scale and this time around we'll increase the scale as much as we can so i'll increase it to somewhere here and then we'll use the on-screen controls to move it somewhere on top of it so the magnify effect will be really smooth now i'll play and show you guys what we have so far so I zoom in and I click on subscribe and that's the animation in so now we need to do the animation out go to where you want it to end click on the top screen recording make a keyframe on scale and position now go 10 frames forward make a keyframe on position and scale and this time around we'll change the figures as we did it previously to 100 on scale and 0 on y axis and 0 2 on x axis so now we have something like this a magnify to exactly where we have the subscribe then you select all and then it goes back to normal position now the bonus tip because we are using a widescreen recording it's very hard to see it doesn't really pop so we're gonna make it really pop with this magnify effect click on the top screen recorder when you look carefully you can see this two dot that's our keyframe that we made so we want to maintain the same keyframe interval so when you select the first keyframe that we made then you click on the down screen recording go to your opacity and make a keyframe over there now go 10 frames forward and because the top screen recorder we use 10 frames intervals we're gonna use the same with the down screen recording then with that you make a keyframe on opacity and this time around you change it to somewhere 40% and right there you can see it really makes our magnify effect really pop now click on the top screen recording go to where you have the third keyframe as you can see it's this dot two over here so this is the third and this is the fourth click on the down screen recording make a keyframe on opacity and go 10 frames forward and make a keyframe on opacity and this time around change it back to 100 so now we can see our magnify effect effect pops really nice and clean on our timeline this is another video i think you might be interested in all right guys catch you on the next one peace